the most frequent question I get asked is which tape do I use or which tape does not rip the paper. And I have to say that none of the tapes I've ever used have ripped my watercolor paintings. I also want to point out that I don't buy expensive tapes like pro artist tapes, but I have a certain method of using my tapes and peel them off. So I want to show you all the tapes I have in my studio and test them all so you can see how they perform and how I use them to prevent the paper damaging. For this demo I'll be using the same type of paper which is a regular cotton paper for watercolors that I cut into 6 pieces and 6 different tapes that I usually use for my paintings. The first one is the most common and cheap tape that you can find anywhere and is the 3M magic tape. You can use it for other things around the house, for example I use it when I wrap my gifts. The second one is a decorated washi tape that I found on Aliexpress and I think it was a set of three so it was very affordable. You can also use these tapes for bullet journals. The third one is an empty washi tape that I found in the gouache mossery box and it was said to be suitable for paper. You can also find this tape on Amazon or other shops, I'll let you the links below. The last three tapes are larger. I usually use them on bigger papers and when I want to have larger blank edges. So the first one is a standard Tisa masking tape that's usually used for painting the walls, but I found it good for paper as well. The second one I bought it from Aliexpress and it was said to be a tape for art, especially for watercolors, but it has a very standard price so I don't know what to think. The third one is a gummed paper tape that you have to use in a particular way that I'll show you later. So let's start sticking the paper to the wooden board, you can also use a cardboard if you want. In this step I just cut the tape and put it on the paper. I put the thinnest tapes half on the paper and half on the board, while the larger ones one third on the paper and two thirds on the board. I want the paper to be firmly attached to the board, that's why I let a good amount of the tape on the board, but I also want to cover the edges of the paper. I noticed that the more you cover the paper, the less it will buckle. As for the gum tape, it has a matte and a glossy side. The glossy side is the one with the adhesive that activates when you wet it. You can use a wet sponge or a sprayer like I do and then tap it to the paper. It's not that difficult to use this kind of tape, but the downside is that you can't peel it off of the paper, so you'll have to cut the edges at the end. The advantage is that the paper won't buckle as much as it does with the other kind of tapes. And in fact I use it when I paint a big illustration with a lot of details that I need to be very flat so I can scan it and have everything clean and sharp. I really want to put these tapes to a hard test, so I'll use a lot of water for the first layer, then I'll add two more layers of color. I don't have a particular drawing in mind, so I'll just play around with color combinations and watercolor effects. See you later for the final results.
before peeling off the tape, I warm it with a hair dryer so it will be easier to remove it. There is a specific way to peel off the tape without damaging the paper and that is pulling it outward. By doing this, I guarantee you'll never ruin the edges of your paintings. Usually washi tapes are very easy to remove so it doesn't matter the way you peel them off but other tapes like the larger ones have stronger adhesives so you need to do this movement to prevent ripping. Basically this is the main secret to getting clean and crisp edges without spending too much money on professional tapes. In the second last painting the color has got under the tape so there is an annoying stain. I usually put another piece of tape diagonally across corners so that thing doesn't happen but in this case I forget to do it. As for the last painting I have to cut the edges with a cutter because this tape is really hard to peel off even from the wooden board. Also I noticed that one of the pieces of tape didn't stick very well to the paper and that side of the painting is a bit ruined. It never happened to me before, I think it was an accident, so I still suggest you to use this tape if you want to get a flat paper result. These are the results of this little demo. You can see that the paper buckled, especially with the washi tapes, but in general I can't say one tape is way better than another. I use different tapes for different needs. I usually use small washi tapes in my sketchbook or in combination with larger tapes, and I use larger tapes for larger paintings, where I can leave larger blank edges. Of course, it's up to you trying and choosing your favorite tape, but the thing I wanted to point out for this video is that you don't need to spend a lot of money on artist tapes, since it's more important the way you remove it. Thank you for watching this demo. If you like it, please let a thumb up and subscribe to my channel. See you in my next video. Bye!